Hello everybody and welcome back to Stationeers. We are continuing right where we left off in the previous episode. And with that thing being said, we are gonna go green today. So we are gonna do some recycling. So let's just quickly pull up a bunch of stuff to recycle because we've built, you know, centrifuge and all that jazz. So might as well be recycling some of the old stuff while we are here. So, uh, oh, but first I actually might want to do something to make it a little bit more simple. Now, uh, do we have kit wall? I don't think I do. All right, let's create some kit wall first then. And you'll see why do I need it sooner rather than later. So I'm gonna create three of them. Okay, one, two, three. Perfect. So those will have actually a very specific use. And you'll notice here. Now, composite wall, composite window, railing. That's exactly what I want to build. Railing. Then I will build another railing here there and another one here the whole reason is it might be th making putting things here more difficult but what it will simplify is the recycling or at least i hope now with that thing being said uh, let's take a look at these guys so turn the recycler on centrifuge on time to dump stuff now, just dumping stuff into the recycler and be none the wiser. Watch them happily process everything. And there we go, some old filters. Perfect. Time to collect. So we have iron, obviously iron, obviously iron, and copper I guess it's still chugging along stuff so right so uh, also I've been busy I've been mining stuff so uh, because I didn't I did want this um, episode to rather flow nicely hi welcome to the show so, uh, do, shouldn't there be some gold as well? Because I think I recycled the helmet. Huh. Well, no idea. Anyway, that's not the primary thing that I wanted to talk to you about today. We are finishing up our hydroponics. And I just figured I might as well show you what I had in mind. So here we have four trays. Here we have another four, which we're gonna build right about here. Another four, right? Then, do I have any pipes on me? Don't think I do. I have some here, six. Well, uh, I don't need the mining belt, I want the utility belt. Hey, welcome to the show, by the way. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna cut this guy here. On this one. And I'm gonna go with expansion, clearly. However, T-junction. And I want to turn it around so that it faces like this, right? And then we have another T-junction here that I'm going to be placing like this and then straight and then straight across the room because there will be more coming on that side. But to do that, I will need more hydroponics trays and I want the panels to cover everything so that everything is nice and dandy. 
in the meantime we have 28 degrees sun is still there so i actually might be planting these guys while i'm waiting because nowadays let's put four of them right we have some water right water pressure is still there perfect so yeah i'm thinking like that there we go I don't want to go all in because I'm still a little bit scared about the result, to be perfectly honest with you guys. Anyway. Let's get this done. What I want to be doing, I want to be creating the floor grating as well there to cover at least, you know, the floor, but I need some first pipes. So pipes kit pipe kit pipe there we go and we're gonna build a couple of them because we really need them I'm thinking 10 should do it good okay 11 I'm not gonna count the blood cells there right then we want you to make the floor tiles but we'll do that afterwards let's just go in and get this one sorted thank you temperature is rising I hope that plants don't raise the temperature too much oh look they're nicely growing 29 degrees. I hope now that the cooling system should engage sooner rather than later, the moment we hit 30. And let's see if I want another here. So like this, then I want one straight and then I want another junction here. So that will be like a complete set of them. 29 degrees. Seems they're growing nicely, which is kind of important. Um, all right. Uh, let's see. And I'm thinking how many floor gratings will I need? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, so nine floor tilings to cover everything here. And then four trays. Well, four trays are gonna be pricey, but I'm actually gonna leave them as is for the time being. So nine tiles. We're gonna start with those. Hey guys, welcome to the show. Hey, Katusha is here. Uh, thanks, glad that you followed me on Twitch. B very welcome to be here. So, yeah welcome all right now let's uh, go with the i want to get kit floor tiles floor grading yeah that's the word so one iron let's get nine of these i'm thinking these guys i might want to be putting in my backpack we want to beautify things you know get and get this nicely tiled I think it will be very very fun to actually have those done correctly you know uh, don't need to pressure this oh look temperature is 26 which means cooling did its thing wonderful that's what I was hoping for now let's put the floor tiles and I actually like those those are just beautiful so there we go jump over 
for the time being I'll remove the floor grating later on. There we go and final. Look at this. Isn't this already nicer? And I'm thinking, I don't know if I could, I need to use wall tiles to cover those things to actually look, make this look like a real room, you know? Uh, probably. So, yeah, we let those simmer, so to say. And one more floor tiling, I could use it somewhere over there. I actually might need a little bit more um, coolant gas, I'm thinking so. And coolant gas is actually just a pollutant, which is getting by smelting, which I'll actually need to do a fair amount. I have 39 grams of steel, iron, silver silicon, but I will actually build quite a lot. So I'm thinking I will need more steel. So we have here what do we have here what do you have inside of you try tell so uh four let's see oh what do you have no that's a tracker i don't need the tracker i'll need atmos analyzer here now so charge high good to know thank you and here all right what do you have inside you have pretty much everything very little of everything well yeah okay so i might want to do some smelting to populate you with more pollutant and what are you filtering pollutant perfect so let's do some smelting shall we um oh that's why i wanted to have the other belt duh now six four now you i need i know i knew, needed the two of you so volatiles split two volatiles um katrisha i play actually quite a few different games uh now I'm mainly focusing stationers, but uh, I tend to play Bomber Crew and there will be actually some very cool content coming very soon, uh, coinciding with the launch of the DLC, which is supposed to go on 23rd. Uh, then I, on occasion I play KSP, but uh, I've played it a lot, so I'm actually now not focusing that much on, you know, Kerbal Space Program. Uh, okay, just give me a second. I want to grab these guys. Coal, take, and then iron. Nope. Take, oxide. I do want to leave you so you don't melt. You here, and I think I need one more iron. Okay. And I uh, tend to play, you know, Transport Fever. I used to play XCOM. I don't play that much because there are not many, many people watching, sadly. But I'd love to play it. Uh, okay, so now we want to get pollutants and those you get from smelting. So I'm going to turn this valve on. I'm turn this volume pump on. And, oh, uh, I'm going to close the valve until I smelt things because otherwise what's the point? So there you go. The two of you volatiles yes then smelt please then you then activate what what the hell i thought one oxide Ice oxide, yes. Press activate. What's happening? Oh shoot, I left this valve open. Dang it. Well, that's what you happen when you don't pay attention. Now, so I need to do once again. So split, split. There you go. And volatiles, yes. And I'm gonna close you now. Thank you. And you are closed. Good. So volatiles. 
activate. Then we want to be splitting one of you, putting it in, and oh, you didn't smelt yet. Activate now. That's better. So 50 iron ore. Another 50 iron ore. Getting ready for another 50 iron ore and then 50 of coal. That should give me 200 grams of steel. There we go. Two hundred grams of ingot steel. Perfect. Spit it out. Yes, thank you. And while you're doing that, fill that tank with pollutants. And apparently it's working because the pressure there is climbing. And you will put some steel inside here. Perfect. Now now let's take care of our get back the tool belt. No, not you, but the six and the four. I sometimes forget this dance of the cards. And then you, we want to be seeing what's the pressure in there. It's dropping, but it is rich with gases. What do we have here? Pollutants, mainly, four megapascals. And we're here down to 19 kilopascals, so I might as well actually turn this one off. I don't care if a little bit goes to the atmosphere, that's fine. And we vent you out. Perfect. That means you are pretty rich with pollutants. And uh, how's the temperature inside there? Oh, let's see. No, that's outside. Inside, I would love to know what's the temperature inside, but it doesn't say, apart from going out and seeing. So, dang it. Right, but that, the tank is filled with pollutants, and I would like to get that other tank out. So, yeah, let's change tanks, shall we? How is the pressure in this tank? I'm guessing, oh. Come on, six tool belt. Can I destabilize you from here? That would be very nice. Oh, I can, perfect. That means I can actually take it from here. Drag, too far away to be dragged. Ha, huh. well, four and yeah, let's go up. I guess we'll do it the old fashioned way. Drag, come on. Poof, down, and this is the filtration to ensure that we have plenty of just pure on. And you connect. I know that I have deliberately connected this, so I want to filter the rest of the gas pollutant in this guy to go to that guy. So you are closed, the volume pump is still on, this valve is open, and time to start this filtration unit until this one shows that it's empty which I'm guessing will be pretty quick anyway but because we didn't have that much pressure to begin with but I want to keep this one you know uh, on vacuum level come on there we go we put this away and that means we can actually till the kill the filtrations unit which I said kill and then close the valve and shut off the volume pump meaning all the precious pollutant that we want is now present here and it's quite nicely pressurized so kudos and we'll need that one for cooling our dear beloved plants because we don't want to cook them. So, yeah. I'm going to be putting this one close by. Actually here-ish, kind of. So, no, 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 not this place. Wrong, wrong location. Here. 
here-ish kind of good mount up and now tank drag come on here you go and I'm stepping on the logical circuits because that's beautiful and healthy sure I could have connected this better in hindsight I didn't oh my bad so there we go connected perfect hopefully it will do the cooling just nicely and the crops are almost ready to be collected wonderful so I'm really eager to see what ratios do we need to put in to actually build our first you know how would you call it okay cancel the per no filter critical fortunately enough I do come prepared for this occasion so filter critical yeah I get the idea but you know I'm not overly concerned because I have another just ready to go charge medium that's also something that I need to think about but hey four six there we go perfect so soon enough you will be ready for harvest and while I'm on the subject here I might as well want to be uh, checking my trusted tablet and here is not the atmos analyzer I want the reader so I'm gonna take the reader I'm gonna swap it and I'm gonna leave atmos analyzer for the time being here so what do I want to read you might ask I want to know the cooking recipes so I'm basically doing a cookbook cookbook iron 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 ingots oh baked potato cereal bar for cereal bar we need 50 grams of flour how many grams we have here 20 20 okay and this is one flour so iron sheets plastic shields uh, how do you make flour muffin ingot uh, okay never mind that I think it's time for harvest so I don't want to be wasting too much time harvest there we go harvest another one harvest 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 perfect harvest and harvest beautiful now how much do I need to create collect let's dump things here 13 huh I thought I had more so four yeah um, actually I do tend to play city skylines but it's actually very overwhelming I have it I have all the DLC you wouldn't believe I just never get enough you know time playing it it's yeah but I love playing it so but let's just check I'm now cereal bar 50 grams of flour and how do I create flour not flour flow one thing that I really don't appreciate is the fact that you really have to glasses hard suit mining drill hand drill tracking tell you what I'm gonna do let's learn by experimentation shall we so uh, wheat we do it like this we plant one two three the other ten we put in the reagent processor insert so this is gonna produce how much flour 50 grams exactly so I basically need 10 of them okay good to know now what I'm gonna do is oh no microwave on there is no point but if I open put and put 50 units of flour this will produce a cereal bar hell yeah and there we go it's making it 
making sure device is powered. Might as well. Usually things work better when you plug it online. Open and serial bar. Look at that. First, there's, this is actually my first in the series. First time I created something that I can live off. Beautiful. And the three of those will actually keep on growing. Hopefully, if I don't do something stupid. Which I tend to do from time to time. Well, okie doke. Now, I wanted to actually get three wall sections, like to cover these up nicely. I mean, after all, we might as well make our base look nice, won't we? I did say I'm going to do some base beautification, so... Right, what I plan to be doing is I'll also cover everything this in floor tiles, but you guys really don't need to see this. You saw how I was doing floor tiles over there, so I figured it would be actually better that I, well, basically show you that and kit wall first now kit wall kit stairs kit wall there we go three pieces i think it's i'm supposed to put wall there i'm not sure power low power low by the way, if you know what I should be putting, let me know. I don't know if it's wall or this other thing that they call, I don't know, we'll call it cladding or something. Okay, replaced, power situation resolved, and I think I would need three steel sheets, which I don't have, but I can easily make them. Let's just see if this thing will stick. I'm really curious. Uh, don't bother pressurizing. Plants are growing nicely, so let's see. Wall. Can I place wall there? Composite wall, so just to make it look nicer. There we go. One, two, and three. Perfect. And then we need additional three steel sheets. Do I have some here? Nope. All right, and that will make the face beautification part nicer hopefully all right so three steel sheets steel sheets steel sheets not plastic but steel yes thank you come on spit it out one two, three, uh, and the base lights turned on indicating that it's night time, which makes perfect sense. So time to make this very nice and I'm actually thinking I will put somewhere the temperature sensors or just basically read the temperature so I know always at any time, point in time where is the temperature and stuff. So two plastic sheets ring required huh. you don't say I never knew that I needed plastic sheets well you live you learn and I think for plastic sheets I'll need silicone so I'll need six silicone okay good to know then I think I have silicone here Da. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, let's see. Um, where was I? Plastic sheets. Oh, not an electronics printer. But I need you to spit out. I need to spit out the silicone. Yes, thank you. Close. Close. There we go. Sorry, I had to wave off just. Um, and plastic sheets. 
six of them. Six, there we go. One more than we needed. Anyway, or two more than we needed. Perfect. I'll cancel the pressurization. Seems to be doing fine. And now, construct composite wall. Yes, look at that. Much nicer. Much nicer. Look at that. Clean wall, no electronics. If I need to debug it, I can always open it. But for the time being, it's working rather nicely, I would say. Maybe I'll put like two gauges that would basically here read the values of the temperature in the room and the pressure. Because I think looking from outside when you're taking care of your plants, I think it might be handy. All right. Yeah. Oh, world auto saving. I think guys, I'll have to cut it here. I'm sorry for a little bit shorter episode. I have to run, I have to wake up my son. So yeah, but uh, long story short, we managed to do some beautification. We created our first cereal bar this time, so I won't grow hungry. And I'll actually go off camera and off camera, I'll do a little bit more of the floor tiling. So this base looks nicer and I'm going to expand this area with the uh, steel frames because in the future this is where we will be building our um, air stuff and you know gas filtering and all that jazz. So I think it would be actually better if uh, I do the preparatory work off camera but that's it. Thank you very much guys for watching like if you like and I'll see you all in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. This is Groundworks signing off.